Previously on Zero Escape, Virtue's Last Reward. Remember your dress is sweat. You're not thinking creepy stuff, are you? Of course not! <laughs> I am. And now, back to the Nonary game. Hello, Memento Mori of the Ninth Lion of the Sun. Is this another warehouse? It's just like the one on the last floor. There's even a big old door in the same spot where the number nine door is in the other warehouse. True, it's rusted over. I don't think it's opening anytime soon. <sighs> no lever to open it anyway. I can see. Oh, maybe, maybe that's the second door that. Remember, uh, Kay was talking about, um, with the two headed line thing open. Maybe when he said second door, maybe it meant this one. Well, shoot, we can possibly open that with our bare hands. Duh. <laughs> How much do you think that thing weighs? You'd have about as much luck trying to lift a pickup truck, even if it was unlocked. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> well, I was the one who saw all the puzzles, alright? You guys didn't do shit. You just sat there complaining and whining about pressurization and freaking bunnies. <laughs> Who's been doing all this shit? Me. Sigma! Sigma powers! This for further, a familiar voice, robotic voice cropped over the speakers. Hmm, I wonder what this is gonna be about. Hmm, I have no idea. Wow. <sighs> Could it be that and the ambient next day has been open and 45 minutes remain? One of what? What did we have any? We haven't started yet. Ugh. Never mind. I'm worried about Quark. We need to hook up with. Let's All right. Go. Let's go beat the shit out of Dio. Now we trek all the way back upstairs again. For the umpteenth time. Return to the floor where warehouse finally two people waiting for us. Okay, we've gone th we've gone through the red door. And Dick we do. We've gone through the green door. Where's Quark? We took him to the infirmary. At the moment Alice, Fi, and Luna are looking after him. Yay, nobody's dead yet. Yay. Is he alright? I don't know if I would describe him as all right, <laughs> but apparently his condition has not worsened, if that's what you mean. <laughs> he's not all right, but you know, he's not bad either, so I say he's sort of like, you know, so so mediocre or average or I don't know, whatever word you could go for. He is still resting. However, we. Good. I'm going to the infirmary. Ah, uh, Tenmyoji, please, wait. Tenmyoji ignored K or took off at a run through the yellow door. Fuck all you guys. <laughs> Late, everybody. Rawr. Oh dear. He's gone. There was something I needed to tell him. <laughs> He's dead. Well, it's not like it matters. The girls will just tell him when he gets there. He ought to calm down once he's seen the kid. <laughs> when I looked at one another, eyebrows were raised. Um. What are they going to tell him? Well, you see... What? You found virus medicine in the laboratory? What? Yes. Unfortunately, we found only a single vial. Oh, that's right. We, f that's right. We we found we actually did find that in the other timeline. Oh man, it's gonna be this bullshit again. Where we're gonna be like, like, who are we gonna save, or how are we gonna save blah 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 or something, or maybe this will be the timeline where I find something that can, that can save both Alice and Corker in the other timeline. Or something. Let me cure Quark's Chronicle 6! So it would seem. Well, I guess we should have everything for me and see how he's doing. Hopefully Alice hasn't gone bananas and murdered everybody. Right behind you. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully that won't happen. He should be fine now. It might take some time for him to recover fully, but the worst is over. <laughs> wow, look at that! We... Yeah! We got a timeline where Quark didn't... Quark didn't die, or... I don't know. We finally... Where he finally got better, at least. At least Quark won't go be going bananas anytime soon. Lois voice is quiet as she stepped back from Quark. She held injection gun with an empty bottle. Delicately, she placed it in the cabinet. Sweet. Quark had been laid out in a crude cot and was still sound asleep. The spring was even, and his expression was peaceful. But like any other child, sleeping soundly after a long day of doing whatever children do to amuse themselves. He traces of the insanity shown earlier was nowhere to be found. Is, is he really going to be okay? Yes. We analyzed the vial and confirmed that it was definitely Excelivir. Now that I've administered it... The Excelivir should eradicate the virus completely given enough time, right? Yes, that should be the case. 
<laughs> Thank goodness. Yeah. About, what a relief. About fucking time. Things are looking pretty sketchy there for a while, that's for sure. <laughs> look at look at Pfizer trying to That's a new one. Oh dear. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Oh goodness. <laughs> that is not an expression you expect to see from me. Does some kind of tension disappear from my shoulders and line of breath I hadn't realized I've been holding. Uh, oh. <laughs> I let it out my butt. We weren't out of the woods yet though. At least at least Cork was safe. Ooh. Midge let a long, shaky sigh and lowered himself onto the empty. One, excuse me, one of the empty beds. He rubbed his hands wearily across his face, and I thought I saw a glint of tears. Alice, you and Kay, I, I don't know what to say other than thanks. You saved his life. I don't know the words to tell you how much that means to me. Oh please, it was nothing, really. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna do shit. <laughs> The cave solved that puzzle. We just happened to be the ones who went through the red door. <laughs> Bitch, I was the one who did all that shit. <laughs> Don't you lie to them. <laughs> is Kay gonna have to smack a bitch? <laughs> Where is Kay? He's not in here. He's still in the warehouse. Dio and Kay stayed behind. They went there to wait for you guys while we came back here. We figured someone should explain what was going on so you wouldn't come back to an empty warehouse. <laughs> Steve and Kay were the ones who opened the AV gates? Not both of them. There was only one door open. <laughs> well, we should get back and tell them how Quark's doing. Kay will want to know at least. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> and Dio won't give a shit. He'll be like, ah, whatever. <laughs> so he'll be like, damn it. Really, I thought I had that kid to death. <laughs> Not, I didn't hit back toward the other side of the room. Right past the adult erotic doctor. It was only there when Tim Moji suddenly spoke. That, that's right. <laughs> Huh? You know that memory card we found? <laughs> this thing? Yeah. I think I know how we can take a look at what's on it. What? You don't remember? There was a memory card just like it that we used to solve the puzzles in here. Yeah. He's right. Oh. Oh yeah, we're in that timeline. <laughs> There's a slot next to the screen. It should work for this one too. Oh yeah, there it is. Right, yeah. Well, let's give it a shot. Yeah, I want to see what's on it. No, you go away, Clover. It's just between us. Best buddies. Okay, just give me a minute here. Oh, it's just porn. It's the, it's the card of the slot next to the screen. As soon as I done that, an image of a waveform popped up on the screen. Is Whoa. there an audio file on here? Why don't we turn up the volume a bit? Moon tapped a few things on the screen, and the bar began to move across the screen. Before long, a voice burst out of the speakers. This is Control. How's it going over there? Well, I'm doing okay. How are you doing? <laughs> Wait, this isn't Control. Who are you? It's me, Monica. <laughs> the hell, get off this line. Oh, come on. <laughs> Don't you want to talk? I'm so lonely. I'm so lonely here. <laughs> no, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll have myself another martini! <laughs> Bet you missed the sound of my voice, huh? Well, I gotta be honest. It's getting pretty lonely over here, too. Feeling kind of like howling at the moon, lone wolf style. Speaking of which, I'm looking at it right now. The old girl is beautiful. Never seen a moon this full. At that color. Oh, the... Okay, this must be the... During the Tonight's blood moon. Eclipse, remember? What a way to end 2028, huh? The moon's this amazing red. If it wasn't so beautiful, it'd be kind of ominous. Wish you guys could see it too, but... Uh, sorry, forgot. You're supposed to be on Mars, aren't you? So, uh, how are Phobos and Deimos looking right now? Sure hope I'll get to look up at them someday too. Anyway, over. Mars? Are we on Mars right now? Something wrong? Talk to me, guys. What? You gonna play hard to get because we haven't talked in so long? Enough jokes, alright? Knock it off. Where are you guys? Uh oh. Is there something wrong with the radio? You're saying everything's green? Well, then, what the hell's going on here? Why aren't they responding? No, the video feed's online. 
Look, you can see all nine of them. Three at each table. What? Someone hacked our feed? What do you mean this isn't live? <laughs> what the fuck's going on here? Clip on repeat. Who would do that? What uh, the hell is happening here? What is this, an 80s movie? <laughs> Oh my god, nine more people again. Is this a, like another nonary game? <laughs> what the fuck? How? Why are. They were killed. What? I. I guess you could say I killed them. What? No. No, that's not quite right. Not just them. Not just these six. All of them. All six billion. Soon, I will have killed six. Billion people. Is this supposed to be like a Kane or something, maybe? Are you there? Respond! <laughs> what the fuck? Damn it! This is control! I repeat, this is control! We have an emergency situation! We have an unconfirmed report of six deceased test subjects! Deploy rescue and escort teams to the test site immediately! Shit! What the hell happened in there? <laughs> Is that it? They're all gonna be like, what the fuck? If Clover's, maybe, if if that was a Kane, I bet Clover were working as her voice. Yes. What on earth was that? Any ideas? I got only frowns and shaking heads in response. Only one person showed a reaction other than, than stunned confusion. Clover. No, damn it! No, Tim Yoji. Long after the radio ended, he stared at the screen deep in thought. Do you know something, Tenmyoji? Yeah. I think I know what that was. It's probably a transmission from the Mars mission test site. Mars? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> what? You mean some kind of space travel? What kind of test site was it? Hmm. Did you know that the government is developing spaceships with particle annihilation engines? Uh, holy balls? These ships would be able to get humans to Mars a lot faster than old chemical rockets. But they don't want to just send a manned Mars mission off half-cocked. That was the idea behind this test. They built a whole complex on this old Air Force base in Nevada. The idea was that it would be a simulation of a manned mission to Mars with a crew of nine men and women. They'd monitor the whole thing and use that data to plan the real mission. Why is it always nine? <laughs> so what we just listened to was a transmission from that project? Yeah. Why is something like that here? Don't know why. We found it in the safe. No explanation. Dollars to donuts, it's got something to do with Zero's plan. You mean we were meant to hear what was on that card? Yeah. It's all very interesting, but how exactly do you know about all this? Oh, about the simulated Mars mission? Yes. I was involved with the project. Uh, <laughs> involved? Now, the intent was to create as accurate a simulation as possible. That meant we'd need to simulate the radio silence we'd experience during conjunction. What's a conjunction? It means two things in space are close to each other. In this case, we're talking about a superior conjunction, where Mars and Earth are on the exact opposite sides of the Sun. So unless we've got some sort of relay, there'll be a period of time where we won't be able to communicate with each other. What we heard on that card was when the simulated conjunction was scheduled to end. Oh. That's when they died. No, we don't know that. They could have died long before that conversation. All we know is that's when it was discovered. So six of the test subjects died, right? Yeah. Well, do you remember what she said? There's something about how she didn't just kill six people. She said six billion. What the heck did she mean by that? Just what the hell happened there? Wait, is this like somehow connected with the Radical Six thing, maybe? Like, she brought about doom, doom to us all. 
Demut, he frowned and looked down at the floor. Real silent as he paced slowly back and forth across the room. At last, he stopped and raised his head and spoke. The truth is that there's a chance a virus escaped from the test site. Oh, I was right! <laughs> Good call, Nico. Thanks, Sigma. <laughs> oh, my... Oh, so this is where it came from. A virus? Wait, you don't mean... Yeah, Radical Six. <laughs> what? How can that be? I'm just telling you what I know, okay? But we're, if it was a simulation, then what... What would the where would the Radical Six have come from in the simulation? You know, why would it be there? Did nobody's sure how Radical Six got in there in the first place? But oh, okay. One of the subjects might have been infected when they entered, or the virus itself might have been an intentional part of the simulation. What the hell? The test site deaths became the index case for a pandemic. Anyway. Prevailing wisdom says it got out somehow, and once it was out, it spread pretty quick. All across the planet. Holy shit. And it killed six billion people? No, not directly. Best numbers put only a third or so of those deaths as directly caused by Radical Six. The other four billion died from the collapse caused by the deaths of that first third. The whole world just... fell apart. See, he seems to know all about this. Like, he seems to... Like, while all of us seem like, like, are like, what the fuck, when did this shit happen, you know? Like, Temyoji seems to know... So maybe he is, like, if, if it's true that this is like a jump in time or whatever, then maybe Temyoji is, must be from this time period or something, right? You know, I... So I'm wondering, like, I mean, are they gonna bring that up? Be like, like, how do you know about this or something? You know, like, why don't we know about it? Well, um, damn, I have a lot of questions. I don't even know where to start. I don't even know where to start knowing where to start. <laughs> well, no, take that back. Explain that date. Unless I heard that wrong, the, the day Raggle Six got out was December thirty first, twenty twenty eight. The day I got grabbed by the guy in the gas mask was December twenty fifth, twenty twenty eight. Me too. Christmas Day. I was kidnapped on Christmas, too. Clover and I were taken three days earlier, on the 22nd. Yeah. But, yeah, he's gotta know what the current date is, though, right? You see what I'm saying, right? The recording was made close to a week after we were all picked up. What the hell's going on here? The thing is from the future. Let's see. No! Don't oh, cut me off! Minutes remain. Until all players. Oh, fuck Please you. Fuck you, announcer. No vote. We're out of time. We're not out of time. We have ten minutes, man. You just gotta say... He's, he knows it's... it's It is. It's it's fucking later in the future. He's about to be like, Well, let me tell you. The thing that explains everything that you... All those questions you've asked me is... <laughs> Saved by the announcer. We need to go back to the warehouse. Fuck that announcer. Wait. Don't you have care. Answered. I need more than ten minutes to explain everything. Half-assing it is just gonna make you more confused. Now get moving. That's but enough! Shut your damn hole or I'm picking Matray! Uh, hey, come on now! Fine. Do what you want. But I need to get back to the AB rooms. I'd like to stay with Quark. He seems to be doing alright. I'll stay here with him. If I can do the voting for our pair. I can trust her. Is that all right with you? Yeah, sure. Well, if you'd be willing to do that, I'd be much obliged. Thanks, Mother. Take good care of him. Of course. I'll make sure everything goes fine. That was awesome. So maybe she gave her one last nod and turn Dash out of the infirmary. Gosh. Watch Timmy OG fucking betray me again. There you go. <laughs> I'm like, god damn it. Well, that's that, I guess. She's probably gonna go yes. too. We'll just have to wait to hear the rest of what he has to say later. I'd rather just get it all out in the open now, but there's not much we can do. Let's get going then. <laughs> yeah, weehoo! <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> We returned to the warehouse and found finally Kay. Explain what happened with Quark and then glanced around the room. 
It was he has gone into his AB room. Already? Indeed. <laughs> then he opened the first AB gate, he's right? Just, he's just waiting. He's itching to press that betray. He's like, he's like come on, come on. Of course. <sighs> this is bad. I won't be able to talk with him. This is going to limit my choices. You've only got one BP left, don't you? Yeah. Luna's the same. If Phi chooses ally, and Dio picks Betray... Phi and Luna will be penalized. Uh, I don't have a choice. I'll have to pick Betray. The risk with ally is just too high. Yes, yeah, so you don't have one... You don't have one BP too. That's right. But Kay and I will be playing against Quark. And he'll just default to ally. I guess you don't need to worry about getting penalized then, huh? <laughs> What if Alice and Kay choose Betray? You needn't worry. That will not happen. Even though, as you have told me, Quark is recovering, he is still weak. Moreover, he is only a child. To betray an innocent child would be... Yeah, that would be unthinkable. Even if you ignore his age or condition, it's hardly fair to take advantage of someone who can't vote. I don't know, Quark could be, could be a total psychopath. Who can say? So you'll vote Alice? Yes. Of course. Well then, shall we go? Yes. What about us? I can't imagine... Uh, like... So, I have one BP. I mean, if, if I choose ally and Tiamiju betrays me, I will fucking die. <laughs> I can't imagine he would fucking, la like, betray me, but... I mean, I, he would get out of there, I guess, right? But he wouldn't leave. He wouldn't leave Quark behind. So I don't think he's. I think he's gonna ally. I. I, I don't see any point of him getting betraying and then being able to get out of there. <laughs> Except killing me. Which I mean, if he really is that big of a dick. Can Alice nod one another and disappear into the AB room, second from the right. Clover, on the other hand, doesn't have shit to worry about. I don't think, right? She has. She has six. This thing, anything. If I turn and walk to the room, just look for theirs. Look at this, guys. We no one's died yet. How about that? Isn't that? Oh, this is great. I like this timeline so far. Then I left myself, Clover, and Tamioji. Do you remember what you said to me when you chose the blue door? Something about how you'd convince me to choose ally. Seems like now would be the time to let me know how you're going to convince me. Uh, okay. Um, if you don't, I will die. <laughs> well, it's not that complicated. I promise that. You, I promise you that Clover and I will be an ally. And that's it, pretty much. I see. And you figure I'll believe you because you've only got one BP. Once you've told me that you plan to ally, I won't be able to choose betray. Since if you're telling the truth... You'll kill me, and I will be fucking pissed at you. Hmm, not a bad plan, but it assumes that I've taken killing you off the table. Seems like a risky bet for you. And why I is that? Whoever's BP is six. If you ally and we betray, she'd have enough points to escape, right? She could run off the number nine door as soon as this round is over. Never. <laughs> Whatever, fuck you, Clover. <laughs> Shut up, Clover. That's easy for you to say. But think about it from my perspective. Sure, you might not, but you might, you might you also might. If I guess wrong, that's a pretty big loss for me. Well, what if Clover tries to seduce you to get what she wants? What, what is up with Tim Mioji's mouth? Did you see that? That was... <laughs> I don't know who the, f I don't know who the hell designed some of these character expressions and like mouth movements. But that that looked weird. <laughs> it looked like his teeth were in stay the same, and then his mouth like around it just did like. I, 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 <laughs> well, how did you do that? <laughs> I'm a man of many talents. <laughs> she tried to seduce me. Oh, <laughs> uh, what? Huh? She's like, oh yeah, hmm, don't you want a piece of this? No way. Your boobs are small time. Alice, that's where it's at. Those are freaking... Those are double D, baby. That's just an example. What I'm trying to say is that once you two are in that room, Clover might try and make some sort of bargain with you. I'm asking what you're going to do if that happens. Are you sure you'll still choose Ally? I'll be like, fuck you, bitch. Seduce me, huh? <laughs> mm. <laughs> I could work with that. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yes! I'm back! Go, 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 horny Sigma! What are you staring at, you perv? 
Push my penis, horny Sigma! There's no way on earth I'd do anything like that! Ugh, as if! In your dreams, creep! <laughs> Whatever! I haven't said anything! You're the one dressed up like that, so... Do me that shit. Well, that's that then, and I didn't even say it, he said it! <laughs> I'm gonna... Not gonna lie, though, I'm a little disappointed. No. <laughs> hmm. No happy ending for Sigma. No. So I can trust you. You're gonna choose ally. Yeah. You can trust us. Promise. We of promise. Alright. I guess I'll vote ally too then. Three minutes re Okay. Oh, looks like we don't have much time left. I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you too. Don't kill me, dipshit. Alright, I'm choosing ally, but he better not murder me. Turn me to give us a curtain on and turn the strode to a second AP room from the left. Alright, let's get to yeah. it. Ever happen. Sigma, I wanted to ask you something. <laughs> I want to take my clothes off for you. Mm. Oh, yes, it did happen. Yes. <laughs> Tell me who's right. I'm going to seduce you. Oh, thank God. We got, we got three minutes. It's just enough time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to ally, but. I wonder if there's ever going to be a point where it actually will, someone will actually kill someone this way, you know, like, like, it'll betray and then they go under one and then they fucking die, it's like, what's up? Could you pick betray for me? What? I mean, I could try and, like, tackle you, but you're so big and strong, you'd probably just throw me on the ground what? and that'd be it. What? Uh, are you shitting me right now? <laughs> Damn you, penis! Don't betray me now! <laughs> yeah, well, um... So I thought I might as well just ask you really nicely. <laughs> right, I, I haven't worked out some. Hmm. Uh. Oh, I mean, I'd be happy to, um, pay you back. If you just pick betray for me, then I'll listen to anything you say. <laughs> What, listen? That's not what I'm... That's not what I'm aiming for. <laughs> no deal. Anything? Yep. Anything. Mm. So think carefully, okay? How about... How about... How about you first? <laughs> if you choose Ally, you're trusting him with your life. Wow, she's being really fucking manip manipulative right now. Yeah, if she's betrayed, it's all uh -huh. over. Uh-huh. Are you really, really sure you can trust that old fart? <laughs> yeah, that's not very the nice. The only safe choice is to pick Betray. Yeah, fuck that. We choose ally and we then don't. I'll have nine BP. But you don't need to worry about that. Even if I do get nine BP, I won't just go and open the number nine door all by myself. Uh, yeah, you probably will. I mean, Alice Everybody didn't have nine them. points yet. And I can't leave her behind. <laughs> I'd probably believe you if you didn't sound so obviously sarcastic. Please. And we're obviously clearly lying. Will you pick Betray? Twenty yeah, seconds. No. <laughs> sure. <laughs> really? No. <laughs> she, maybe she was in front of me. I didn't have much time left to think. Would I keep a prostitute and pick ally? Or would I betray him for Clover and and boobies? <laughs> If you just pick betray for me. <laughs> mm, and mm. in the end, there's only one possible answer. I let my Three, penis push the button. Two. One. Go, penis, push. Oh damn it, I missed to push prey. Betray. Damn it! <laughs> you fail me again, penis, damn it. Round reset. Fuck you, Clover. If he really kills me though, I'm gonna be pissed. Be really fucking pissed off. And come out here and be like, damn it, I'm dead. 
Results from round two. Please dive. All right. Du, du, du. She allied, really? Betray, betray, obviously, ally. Okay. I was like, what, if he had chosen betray, i have been like, are you fucking, well, this is gonna suck. <laughs> uh, oh, dude, Fi and Luna still have only one point, though. <laughs> yay, I've got three points, yay. Points have been assigned. Please check. Ha! I don't think so, you dirty whore. <laughs> Clover. Ha ha ha. Looks like you managed to trust me. <laughs> it seems like I made the right choice. Only did what I said I would. You really helped me out. Thanks for not killing me. I could say the same thing. No need for thanks. Scorer's mouth twitched into a grin. I felt, like I felt myself smile in a little in response. <laughs> Clover on the other hand looked less than pleased. That was a bad choice, Sigma. And after I told you I'd listen to anything you said. Yeah, listening is one thing. <laughs> Doing is a whole nother. <laughs> oh well, whatever. She suddenly shot one me one last annoyed look and stalked off. Whatever, you get out of here, you dirty whore. <laughs> Across the room, Dio and Fi were already confronting one another over their own results. You tried to kill me and Luna. <laughs> God, Dio is such a piece of shit. Can't say I'm surprised. Yeah. Ah, oh, don't give me that. You know exactly what I was doing. I knew you weren't stupid enough to pick Ally. You'd defend yourself with Betray, just like I would. Wait, where's Luna? In the infirmary, looking after Quark. Is that where Alice went to? Alice? No, she went into one of the AB rooms with Kay. Yes, we did indeed enter together. When the doors opened, however, she left, somewhat unsteadily, in the direction of the Cyan door. Oh, great. <laughs> great, now she's fucking infected. Fan-fucking-tastic. She's probably gonna infect all the rest of us, and we're all gonna go slit our, slit our wrestling we did last time. Great, thanks, Alice, you fucked me over again. She left the warehouse? Indeed. Without even checking the results? Correct. There was little reason to check them. Yeah, it's not like Quark was going to betray you. Indeed. Can you two still choose Ally? Man, what a pair of bleeding hearts. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> Being mocked for my compassion is a small price to pay for retaining my humanity. <laughs> oh, yeah. You tell you tell him, Kay. You go get him. Where did Alice run off to? She's probably going to die soon. While we were in the AB room, she mentioned being quite tired. Perhaps she went to one of the cabins to rest. <sighs> God dang it, she'll be dead. She'll stab herself with a scalpel. Oh, well, I guess that would make sense. The Clover walk in and be like, Oh no, I'll stick! I can't take life anymore! <laughs> Kay will walk in, Oh no, my best friends! Clo Cl Clover and Alice, oh, I can't take life anymore. And then he'll try to stab himself and he'll be like, Oh, I can't, I can't do it. Oh no, what do I do? No! <laughs> he falls on his knees. No! Thomas Rumble filled the warehouse. Lunk. The Ambidex Gates, round three of the Ambidex game. Star, Star keys will do it forever. You know, excuse me, you know, what? That means the Star Keys can be used to play the AB. If I understood yes, that I know. announcement correctly, then. Hey, didn't Zero Junior say something? About yes, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, he did. You guys show me all show me your bracelets. We'll see what our colors are in groups are this time. In a moment, series twisted wrists series of wit wrists were extended for me to examine. Okay, so five's got an eight pair. I think. I don't I don't even fucking know anything. I can't tell whose hand is hand. I think a clover's a one pair. Yellow pair. Red solo. I'm an eight solo. Or wait, no, that me that's me. I don't know. Huh. See all the, see all the colors are weird. Well, there's a scion pair and five's a magenta pair, but Timmy is a yellow pair. The three solos are red, green, and blue. K's red, Dio's green, and your blue. I was just a group up with the chromatic doors. They were gonna be white this time. Oh yes, Dio told me about them. Very interesting. Yeah, they're white, all of them. 
I had a good look while I was waiting for Sigma to show up down in the warehouse. Just see him too, too far. Yeah, I did. You're talking about the doors in the floor B warehouse, right? You're the door person. You seem to know the combinations like right off the bat. Yeah, so lay it on us. How are the things gonna shake out this time? I now I begin to explain. <coughs> Option A. Temioji Temioji and me would form one group. Okay. <laughs> hey, it's me and Temioji again. I get a feeling this is gonna be a Temioji ending or something. <laughs> Fi, Magenta, and Dio Green. Ha! <laughs> you hit your stick with Dio again. Ah Clover Scion and K Red would form another. Huh? Wait, you mean there's only one option? Yeah, there's no other way we can group up to make white. Alice, Luna, and Quark aren't here to show us their bracelets, so we don't know for sure what their colors are. But it's pretty clear they'll all be pairs, since none of the pairs here have a partner. So it'll be yellow, magenta, and sun, right? right? All right, what now? Got plenty of time until those white doors open. Oh, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe we should just go around and kill people. <laughs> what about you guys? Oh, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Do, let's go murder some shit. Yeah. <laughs> let's go kill Alice. <laughs> She's gonna die anyway. Yeah, that arrow looks like. I'm gonna go find Alice. Of course. I'll come with you then. <laughs> oh, good. That means I'm here with Dio. Fucking great. Gloria gave her a shrug, and two of them headed through the sound door. Do I really need to say it? The infirmary, right? You're going to check on court. Yeah. Give me a nod and try to through the yellow door. I've only left, left the three of us. Do you okay myself? What are you guys gonna do? <sighs> yeah, I think I'm gonna head over to the lounge and have a drink. <laughs> and then get, then go on a drunken rampage. You wanna tag along, Kay? Are you making fun of me? <laughs> I find it rather hard to drink with this mask on. Yeah, dude, how do you eat or do anything? <laughs> All right, of course. My bad. Well, I'm out. Later. Lazy wave of his hand, he has slashed off toward the magenta door. It took me a moment to realize Kate was following him. Hey, what is this? You following me? No, you must be mistaken. I hope to investigate floor B further. There are still several rooms I haven't visited. Okay, okay, you don't have to tell me your life story. See ya. <laughs> God, he's such a fucking prick. I. Uh, hope he dies again this timeline. The conversation ends as they reach the door and step through it. <laughs> now I'm all alone again. All right. What should I do? Tonight's that eclipse, remember? What a way to end 2028, huh? Of course. I need to get the rest of the story out of Tim Yuji. Yes, that's right. The words were out of, scarcely out of my mouth before I set off at a dead run down the hallway toward the infirmary. All right, before that, let me see where I am here. Well, okay, is this going to extend out, or am I going to die, or uh, reach an ending here? I guess we'll find out. Maybe we're all be dead here. Maybe we're going to all murder ourselves again. <laughs> oh, there's nobody here. The room's completely empty. I just forward and peeked around the part partition. Oh, there he was. Give me a dead Miyoji. Standing next to Quark, apparently oblivious to my presence, looking down something in his hand. A uh, picture? He must have made some small noise, because he suddenly looked up and saw me and hastily shoved the photo back into his pocket. <laughs> what was that? It was a photo thing, right? Was it yours? Forget it. It's got nothing to do with you. <laughs> but all this stuff, we, stuff we, had, we had with us when we got grabbed was taken away. Why were you hard Why should I tell all of you about one measly photo? I don't know, man. <laughs> Why are you have to be such a dick to me all the time? Haven't I proven that I've tr like, I've been a trustworthy fellow? I've allied you twice. <laughs> you betrayed me the first time. Um. Anyway, where's Luna? I asked her to leave. 
I wanted to be alone with Quark for a bit. No, don't leave. Don't have Luna leave her by herself. God dang it. I swear to God, Tim Yuji, if she dies, I am going to rip your head off. So, why are you here? I wanted to hear the rest. The rest of what? What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about that simulated man, man mission to Mars. I heard the recording about it. I don't have it. any idea what you're talking about. I'm getting old. Memory's not what it used to be. Oh, fuck you. I seem to be forgetting a lot of stuff lately. Hey, nice try, pal. You're not getting away with that this time. You remember something, all right? You remember so much that you told me it'd take way more than ten minutes to tell it all. Come on. I'm really sure you want to know? Huh? Maybe I'll tell you, and then you'll regret it. Maybe you'll wish you'd kept your full mouth shut. Just think about all the hopes you've got for the future, and all the happy memories of your past. What if what I have to tell you makes everything you've ever believed ring hollow, and the whole world just crumbles around you? Uh, holy balls, dude. You sure you want that? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Come on, you don't need to threaten me. This isn't a threat. I'm being honest here. Are you really, truly prepared? Well, of course. I never got a chance to say I am. God damn it. Somebody's died. Great. Fucking great. Thanks, Fi. God damn it. I, if it's Luna, I'm... Tim Uji, I told you, I'm ripping your head off. <laughs> if it's Alice, eh, whatever. <laughs> it's fucking Alice. Fi exploded into the room, her face mixed her fear and anxiety and fear. Good. There you are. Something happened? Alice. Ah, great. She's fucking dead again. Alice is... Look, just come with me. She's in the number two cabin. Gosh, she just loves being the first one that died, doesn't she? Without... Without waiting for a response, Fi spun around and ran out of the room. God, it's always the cruise quarters. Demi and I exchanged a quick, confused glance and leapt up and took up after her. Oh my god, she loves... She loves dying in that room, too. Man. Dun-dun. 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 She's in the same position every time, too. Oh, see, it was a scalpel this time. She must have done it herself again. Alice, no, my good friend, whatever. I, you know, I don't even care anymore. I've seen her die so many times. It, it's just, it's just, I don't even just shit anymore. The thing I saw when I stepped through the door was the blossom of a red chest. Or her red boobs. As if I walked straight into a brick wall. I stopped short, my bride refusing to move. No, why did this happen? Force one shaking foot forward, and the next, my legs began to buckle, and I, and I put a hand against the wall, steadily, steady myself as my heart thundered against my chest. Oh, I can skip this. It's pretty bad, but you don't actually know anything yet. Yeah, that's right. Maybe it's not too late. Maybe we can still save her, even though her bracelet fell. And the last person fingers on her neck, and my hopes were dashed. No pulse. She clearly wasn't breathing either. Her pupils had dilated hideously, making her face seem unhuman. No, no, it's not true. Okay, now I can't seem to skip it. I noticed all the blood must have distracted me, and now I saw that there was a scalpel buried in her chest. Judging by the position of his handle, she, she had been stabbed through the heart. I feel a sympathetic twinge of in my, pain in my own chest, and my stomach lurched. Vile and hopelessness rose up to my throat. I stood, I stood hands ball tightly into white knuckle fists and took a breath. Ugh, great. At least Luna's alive. That's all I really care about, honestly. Around the room, the rest of the nunnery games participants, except, of course, for Quark. I want, I want to ask which one of them had killed her. Even if it had been one of them, though, there was no way that they'd answer. All I could do was stare at each one of them and turn and ask myself, this person a murderer? The looks they traded with one another suggested that I wasn't the only person who wondered if they were staying next to a killer. Just like silence filled the room. Clover was the first to speak. Who? Who did this? <clears throat> maybe she is just doing it to herself, you know? Maybe she's just... Maybe that is it. Maybe, 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 even in the other timelines with, with, with the knife or something, you know? Because didn't she find the knife? It was put between the two things, so maybe she she's just been killing herself this whole time. And then Clover's been murdering Luna or something. Say something! Answer me! Please, Clover, calm down. We don't even know if she was killed. Then what happened? An accident? Uh, I don't know. Maybe think back to, like... 30 minutes ago when Quark was trying to kill himself. You think a scalpel just dropped from the ceiling and stabbed her? Cool it, kid. You did it, didn't you? Are you nuts? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Dio did it. Let's go kill him. <laughs> then who did it? Who killed her? Clover, even if we assume that she was murdered, 
That doesn't necessarily mean the killer was one of us, does it? Wait a minute. You went into the AB room with Alice during the last round, didn't you? Something happened in there, didn't it? No, nothing happened. Don't lie to me! There's no way Alice would just run off like that! She wouldn't leave me! Something happened! If she was going to leave, she'd tell me! She... she... Hey, Clover. Don't you think just assuming Alice was murdered is jumping the gun a little bit? How can you look at her and say that? Scalpels don't just stab people all by themselves! <laughs> I don't know, I've seen some pretty pissed off scalpels before. <laughs> just think about it. Oh, I see. I see. I get it now. You're all in on it, aren't you? <laughs> oh my... Oh my god, Clover, why are you so stupid? Ugh. Wow, Clover, you have no common sense. You may have superpowers that allow you to jump between morphogenetic field bullshit, but you can't think for shit. God damn it, you can't work anything out correctly. It wasn't just one killer. It was six! Oh, you, oh man, she's on to us. I guess we have to kill you, too. If that were true, then we'd just fucking destroy you, wouldn't we? No wonder you're so anxious to say this wasn't a murder. Clover, please, just settle down. Huh, fine. Show me some proof, then. Prove to me in ten seconds that you didn't murder my friend, or I'm going to kill every last one of you bastards! <laughs> really, Clover? God, could you... Ugh, oh, god damn it. See, she's such... She's like... When she gets her button pushed, she will just go on a fucking rampage. Like, she's like... She doesn't think. She doesn't think shit through. She just... She's fucking impulsive. Like, okay, well, obviously, it's the world against me. Now I must slay everybody. I need an axe. I need an axe to slay them. You're all going to die just like she did! <laughs> Hold on a minute. Nine. Eight. Seven. Clover. Six. Five. Four. <laughs> Sigma power, go! Machine gun! <laughs> Clover. Three. Two. One. Don't be- No! 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 Fuck! Damn it. All to hell. Didn't I find out already in another timeline that she had killed herself? Why do I- <sighs> Give me proof. God dang it. How about the proof that I saw in the other timeline? Son of a bitch. Oh, I hate these fucking locks. Fucking game. Fuck. <laughs> well, I guess I'm just gonna keep going then. If you guys haven't noticed, I've been lately I've been I've been playing this game in sort of longer segments and then um like uh cutting it into pieces, basically. Um because I mean it's it's very addictive. I mean I I mean I want to just know what happens. It's just it's like, oh my god. Especially when it cuts me off like this. Uh should I do this one? I mean, I, I, it's gonna be a bad ending. It just is. It's like, if it's not a good ending, it's a bad ending, essentially. It seems to be the way it goes. Do I have to get every ending, including the bad endings, to, for, to go? To get, like, the true ending? Do you guys know? Whatever. I'm... I don't know. I don't really want to go through that bullshit. If I, I, it's just another... It's just gonna be a bad ending. I guess I'll go through this one. So, I guess this is gonna be the way I'm supposed to probably go. Alright. This time... Repair, we're gonna be going through... I'm gonna try this, but I doubt it's gonna let me do it. I don't wanna go with Dio. I'll take Cork and go through the green door. So, option C, I no. guess. I don't think so. Oh, right, I forgot I have to go option C. Were you even listening? I'm not gonna pair up with Ten Miyoji. That means option C if I agree. Option C if you'll have to kill me before I'll go any. <sighs> Great. That was that then. Might have been able to argue one person, but two. Says there's no way I'd be able to overpower K. Grab Cork and force Clover through the green door. Fine. Guess there's that terminal. Pick another door. Great. I picked the fucking red door with Dio. God damn it. 
I'll take Dio! Yay! That means red door for us! Whoa. Betting on the dark horse, huh? Feels kind of weird to say that about myself. Anyway, might as well be polite. Thank you. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> that awesome. That's all he said. Just fuck you. You okay with that, Clover? Well, I don't really trust him, but... We're gonna betray. It's fine. I mean, if I choose... Oh, I bet this is actually a timeline here. That if I did choose ally, I bet it will kill me. Oh, he absolutely would. He would abs it would absolutely kill me. Oh, my God. Okay. If Alice really wants to go with... Yes, Whatever. Kate, it's not great, but it's better than Dio. I'm good. <laughs> well, I'm willing to do option B. Quark should be fine if he's with Luna. Okay, I'll take good care of him. I promise. <laughs> You're a fine kid. No problems here. I'll take Quark and Luna, and we'll do the blue door. I also approve of option B. I will take the green door, correct? <laughs> I'm... Honestly, I'm cool with anything, though. <laughs> Yeah, good. So we're all set. Alright, so maybe this time it's gonna be the laboratory? That's what I'm thinking. Okay, nodded and handed Quirk gently to Luna. Ten seconds. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Come on. I know, I know. Through the door we go. Woo! Two, one. Zero chromatic doors closing. Here, yeah, boom. Okay, I'm thinking it's gonna be the laboratory. <laughs> what is this? There's three Which different doors. Which do we take? Dunno, but it looks... Yes, yes, yes. So this is a dead end? <laughs> no, hold up. What about this lever oh, thing? it's got a leap. Don't get too attached. It's probably a lever. Ah, uh, <laughs> he said lever, didn't he? <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, pretty good, huh? Am I great or what? God damn it, Clover. Huh? Huh? <laughs> uh, uh, no. Hey, Sigma, is this chick simple or something? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't rule it out. <laughs> Let's just take it easy with her, okay? <laughs> hey! What kind of a gentleman has a secret conversation in front of a lady? Whatever. I guess it can't be helped, though. You boys just secrete secrets. <laughs> God. Ugh. No, right now I'm secreting disgust of you. <laughs> oh, man, I'm good. Sigma, please, let me give her a smack. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Go ahead, Dio. See what happens. I'm sure she won't axe you in the back later. <laughs> Dio, is Dio gonna have to smack a bitch? <laughs> I wouldn't do that. What if it only makes her worse? Well, I think that's enough genius comedy for now. Shut up and pull the How lever. We throw that lever. I'm gonna throw you into the lever. They used to say we stay away well, from. Well, you don't really think anything bad's gonna happen if you pull it, do you? Besides, it's not like we can go back. Fine, I'll do it. Ready? Here. Here we go! Huh. Center one opened. Looks like the others are still locked, though. Through the center hmm. one, then. Forward! Without waiting for a response, Clover marched through the door. Dio and I shared a glance and shook our heads and followed. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, right, man? Am I right? Yeah. All right, let's see. Laboratory? Yep! <laughs> it's the laboratory. Have I even been in this room? Oh, yeah, I think we were. We visited here. We're just, like, looking around. This room looks complicated. Kind of reminds me of that lab, the, the room, the at the like, one of the final rooms in, last, in 999. What is this place? Well, it said laboratory on the door, didn't it? I figure that means they're dissecting frogs or building mine rays or something. <laughs> A laboratory, huh? Do you think they might research stuff like viruses here? If they do... <laughs> Good idea. We might be able to find some of that accelerator. If we do, we can cure Quark. 
Oh, we totally will, right? I mean, <laughs> it's probably gonna be in the safe. <laughs> you really think it'll be that easy? Well, somebody's a positive Shit. thinker. Just saying, this place hasn't exactly been set up for us to succeed so far. God, isn't he supposed to be like a clone of somebody else? Like, and there's like a whole bunch of other clones of him. Are they all just like giant pricks? <laughs> just a whole bunch of fucking dicks walking around. Well, we won't know until we look. Let's get it started. Take the way out, out of this place. This is the last thing we ever do. Do 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 do. Okay. What we got here? There's something on this tray. Empty capsule. It's like a ball. There's anything in it. You were supposed to stick with it metal or something? Oh, another empty capsule. Oh, and seed. Cylinder full of seeds. But then don't have any markings. Hey, you can buy them with this. Nope. Binder. There's some paper inside. Let me see that. Hmm. It says steps for deceptive dissecting a frog. You found steps for dissecting a frog. You viewed it in the archive. Oh, okay, cool. Binder. Looks like there's two pieces of paper inside here. Yeah. Let's, let's see here. Hydroponics research one and two. Lord, all right. He's got dumped a whole bunch of stuff on me here. Uh, here we go. Preparations for of hydronic, hydroponic fluids and seeds. Prepare the five different hydroponic fluids. Dilute with ratio: one part fluid, ten parts water. Each fluid has a distinct color. Preparation two: prepare the five types of seeds. Two long seeds, three round seeds. Research shows there's a distinct, repeatable relationship between fluid used and the type of seed. These relationships- oh my god, this looks fucking complicated. This oh, there's more seeds. Seed! Seed! Oh, I see. Round seed, long seed! Round seed. Oh, hey. More seed! Looks like something you might put specimens in. Maybe there, maybe there's nothing in them right now. Oh, what about that one? Who's saving solution? Oh, hello, froggy! Oh, hello, froggy. Hello! Look, it's Lord Huffington! <laughs> <laughs> Don't give it a name. Aw, it looks like he's dead. Yeah, he's probably been preserved. I think the liquid is size ethanol. What do you know? The smell. Really? Yeah, I sort this shit all the time. <laughs> Sounds like disinfectant, right? Besides, scientists preserve stuff in ethanol all the time. Is something right there? Oh, it is. Roots. <laughs> the hell is this? Dead spider? Maybe it's, maybe it's a fake beard. <laughs> Have you ever seen a person with a beard like this? Yeah, my grandpa had one. <laughs> it looks like a root. It's probably some kind of preserved specimen. Can't give me enough of that seed. And another folder, my god. Binder. Some papers inside of it. it says DNA extraction instructions. Yeah, DNA extraction instructions, great. Oh, damn. This is a. This looks like it's gonna be a complicated room. Okay, proceed through the following steps. Place the plant material in a blender and activate blender. Once the materials have been thoroughly broken down, add in solution of saline water. The liquid will be filtered and dripped down to a beaker. Once that is done, pour the ethanol into the beaker. Okay, well actually, I've. Okay, so let's put the root here. What is this thing? The top looks like some sort of industrial strength lid. If you open it up, it looks like a blender or something. I don't think you use it for cooking, though. Maybe it's for scientific experimentation. We are in a lab. Hmm. Yeah, you can probably pulverize just about anything about this. It's heavy duty. We'll put it in it. Okay, dump this through the mixer. In you go. All right, done. All right. Pouring the saline solution here. Look at me. <laughs> go, go, science sigma. There's more science boy when you need him. The funnel above the beaker. Filtered liquid comes out eventually. Ooh. Okay, looking good. Oh, here we go. Got a scalpel. Oh, look, it's another line eating the sun. Fucking great. 
Can't get enough of you. Pretty busy, Trey. Is that, is that cat playing with a ball of yarn? Are, are you even looking? Are you even looking, cat? <laughs> it's a lion. Are you not kidding that? Are you kidding that? Uh, what? Sorry. This is a sort of tick I had. I picked it when I was a kid. Whenever I talk about cats, I kind of, well, you heard. That's pretty weird. Yeah, I'm a pretty weird guy. What can I say? Oh, here we go. Huh? Why'd they put a speaker on here? <laughs> That's a dream. What is What is wrong with you? Oh, I see. You've got a frog there. Plan to take, plan to take it out, I, take it out, I assume. You should probably pour the ethanol down the drain first. Yes. I'm okay. Let's pour the froggy ethanol into the drain. There we go. See the frog over there. Over here. Okay. Oh, we got more seeds. Good. I can't get enough of you. This tank contains liquid waste. With an all poured down, the drain should be in here. It's a little big, but I think we should take it. Ah, uh, okay. This is the e okay. The ethanol should be in here. All right, ready. Um, Sigma, what are you gonna do with this scalpel? Are you gonna cut Lord Hoppington open? Not Lord Hoppington. Well, I don't really have a choice, do I? <laughs> Sorry, Lord Hoppington. <laughs> she keeps calling the stuff from. But poor Lord Hoppington. Oh, see, I like it when Clover's not like crazy, you know, like she was a second ago. Like, what was gonna happen at the end when she was counting down? Was she really gonna go and murder everybody? That's it! Rampage time! Rips out the scalpel and just begins stabbing. <laughs> what, are you, what are you freaking out about? He's dead. It's not the point! It's still sad! <laughs> yeah, it's kinda sad. Oh, for the love of... This is this frog is dead! It's an ex-frog! <laughs> oh, fine. I'll do it. Hey, hey Will, I guess this saves me the trouble. <laughs> He loves cutting things up, doesn't he? Huh. So he came out of his stomach. Blue capsule? Ooh. Blue capsule. Ooh. Small capsule. Half of it's blue. Some sort of metal protrusion. You're not being dead. Why? You have to do so! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Frog's been cut open. We were kind of bad for it. Oh. <laughs> Lord Hoppington. Uh, just like, just like the jellyfish thing. Whatever. She she gave a name to that thing too. Okay. Put the ethanol here. All right. Next, pour the ethanol in the beaker. Ali. Then. Hmm. Guess this should do it. Now I take one of these empty things. Alright, I'm gonna dip the protrusion of the capsule into this stuff in the beaker. Awesome, you got it all! Green capsule! Sweet. Man, look at look at all these pipes. I think we run down to the beaker underneath. There are handles where the pipes be. If we turn the handle right, the liquid goes right. Oh, this thing again. Turn it left, the liquid goes left. And if you put it in the middle, half half of it goes to the left, half goes to the right. What is this liquid then? Um, probably water. What do the numbers mean? Well, it's supposed to indicate the amount of water that flows out of each pipe. There aren't any units, but it looks like 80 something of wa 80 somethings of water come out of the center pipe. And then each pipe after it goes gets split 40. So we're supposed to regulate the water flow of water with the handle so we can get each beaker that gets the correct amount. Yeah. How do we get the water to come out of the first place? Well, I think you probably just pull the lever over there on the right. Like this. Turn the correct levers. Pull down the lever on the right to pour the water into the beakers. Okay, let's give it a shot. Oh, it does actually tell me if I get it right. There we go. <laughs> okay, so I kind of just cheated and uh, went trial and error on that one. Pour the water into the beakers. All the lights are green. You did it. Go me. Hey, remember the hydroponics thing you found? Didn't it say something about preparing five types of seeds? Got them all right. Yeah, two types of long seeds and three types of round seeds. Then maybe you should put them in the beakers. If you just grab one of the seeds, Katerius, you should be able to put them into the one of the beakers. 
beer retains a liquid culture. Each seed requires a particular kind of culture. Place each seed in the appropriate beaker. Dragging them on top of the another seed, you can switch them. Press check to, after you have put the seeds in the correct placement. Each seed is in the correct culture, you will clean the spells. <laughs> Not sure what's going on, but here it goes! Easy? God, are you serious? That was just trial and error. Like, I, second try. Way to go, me. Wow, I really didn't need to think about. That. That's the thing. I kind of like. If I'd used that other that other thing, that would have made it like a million times harder trying to figure it out. If it didn't give me any indication until I got it, but if it tells me if it's right the first time, then it's just like I don't really need to. <laughs> you did so much. You sown your seeds. Don't say that. <laughs> huh? Why not? Just don't. <laughs> Quiet, you two. Look at this. Oh! Red capsule. Yay! Oh, the colors of the wind. Stands all the colors of the wind. I still got the seats? Sigma, come here. What's wrong? I see something in here. What do you mean, something? Oh, just look at it. Look, it's easier than explaining. Whoa, what the heck is this? Probably a simplified version of DNA sequence. A is ad adenine, G is guanine, C is cytosin, and T is thymine. I think we can manipulate it. Yeah, looks like Paul has to do with pairing those bases. Bases? Yeah. DNA is made of four bases, adenine, guanine, cyanine, cyanine, thymine. However, you can only bind bind A and T or C or G and C. Anything else won't work. These are called complementary base pairings. You sure you know a lot about this stuff? Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, you should be able to solve the puzzle now. Give it a shot. Reposition each row so that each A is connected to a T and each G is connected to a C. Okay. A, T, G, C. Move each row sideways until it matches up. There we go. Ha! Ah, did it! Good job, Sigma! That was awesome! You wanted to eat? I'm, I'm not hungry. You're a turkey! Wh what in the hell? <laughs> what? What? Stop, stop screwing off, I don't have time for that. Get over here and look at this. Huh? You're sitting on it! Yay! Wow, that was fast. This is... Safe password! Perfect, just what we needed. Yeah, now we can get to the safe! Okay, well there's still one more, I gotta... Microscope, there's a whole... One hole left, probably need a fourth for, for a fourth capsule. Oh, okay. Are you gonna use those seeds in the mixer? Yeah, you think I shouldn't? No, I just... I mean, don't you think you should put all of them in? You mean know, all five... five different types of seeds? Yeah! Hmm, interesting. Why not? Oh, okay, here we go. Alright, done. Uh, okay, and then I guess I'll put some saline solution in. Hmm. This should do it. This should do it. Alright, I'm gonna dip the perfusion in this capsule and the stuff in the beaker. Awesome, we got it all! Alright, there we go. Not too bad. Alright, now I put it in here. Oh, that's it? I didn't have to do anything? Look! The screen changed! What's going on? Put the yellow capsule where I think it reacted to it. Why? Don't know. I, mean, I was just thinking. Maybe what? Well, I think it had, it had plant DNA, right? Maybe that caused this. Hmm. Let's give it a look. Wow. This, this, okay, from the outset, this looked like it was gonna be like a really hard one, and it ended up being like the easiest one. Alright, two moons and sun. That's my go fire collection that I never opened. You did it! I'm awesome. What can I say? Oh, that's gotta be the. 
the accelerator, right? Ha! Get open! Awesome, that Smith was killing me! <laughs> okay, we got here. First is the useless map. Hooray! Blah, 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 blah. I don't want to hear any more about this fucking map. Alright, let's look at this last stuff. These are the guards! Key guards. Alright, we're gonna give you the solo. Next up, get a notebook. Hmm. Oh. Anything interesting? I can't read any of this. Are these with letters? What the heck is this? Is it in a journal? It's got dates and stuff. Maybe, but I can't read any of this. What language is it? Who knows? Maybe it's Brazilian. <laughs> they speak Portuguese in Brazil. Oh my god. Anyway, <laughs> what else have we got here? God, can I stop being paired with Glower, please? Took two more things. Yay! Is that medicine? Hmm. What's it say on the, the label? Hmm, how about... <laughs> cure for Radical Six. <laughs> how about the thing that you need? Uh... A-X-L-A-V-I-R... Axelavir. <laughs> Ax Axelavir? Wait, didn't Lunacy say something about... It, um, Axelavir? You're right! <laughs> this is it! This is Axelavir! It's a cure for Radical Six! We did it! <laughs> We're so smart, yeah! Go Team Sigma! Go Team Sigma! Go Team Sigma! Well, oh, hold on. Let me see that. Later, we need to get out of here as quickly as possible. He's gonna take it and drop it on the floor. Uh, oops! Yeah, we need to get- Yeah, we need to get this stuff a quirk. First we gotta get out of this room. Yeah, that's me. You got this, right? Alright. Alright, get me out of here. What are you doing, Sigma? Hurry up and unlock the door! I'm trying! Lock the door! Alright, let's go! <laughs> Just get it over with. <laughs> Fuck you, Dio. Go over there and make me a sandwich. You found the freaking doodle nugget!